Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm all excited because I'm working finally on my rear bumper. So um, about almost two years ago when I got this trailer, both corner pieces were on the bottom were broke off and cracked really bad. And I realized it's because the bumper, it just, it's not really protecting the corner of the trailer at all. It's very short, the, the factory bumper. And um, anyways, I knew that I was gonna do something different. So I designed a structure that will also hold my spare tire on so I don't have to have that hanging off the back of my fiberglass because it was actually a little bit, it was loose when I got it because the bolt was moving in the body. Well, here's the little structure that I designed a couple, almost two years ago. I cut all the pieces out and then we welded it all up. <clears throat> if, you know, the way physics go, all the weight on a triangle evenly distributed is the strongest way to hold anything. That's why bridges are built like this. So my spare wheel, I'm gonna have a hole in here and I'm gonna put a bolt through here and I'm gonna weld it really nice and that's gonna hold my wheel on. And it's away from the body. I'm still going to cut these corners off because they're square. I'm just going to kind of round them off. They don't need to be so sharp. And then um, it's going to get bolted on. With I'm going to drill through here with my hand drill. I didn't use a drill press because I wasn't sure where I wanted it before I welded these pieces. I actually ended up cutting a little bit off because it stuck out too far. So um, I'm going to drill like a half inch hole here. We're going to use stainless steel hardware with nylocks, nuts and bolts, because we don't want them to come loose. Then I can etch this thing really nice. I can go ahead and pour 15 it really nice. And then my bumper is gonna fit over this and it's gonna go right around the corner. So after you figure out where you wanna drill, you wanna center punch a little dimple into your material so that when you go to drill, your drill bit won't walk. What happens when a drill bit has no, uh, if you don't get one of these and make a little dimple first, what happens is the drill, those two little angles, it's called the, that's called the web. And if it has nowhere to go, it's gonna wanna move around and that's called walking. So you wanna start off with one of these. So now when you start drilling, it just goes right in. So we're all the way through. So now we're going to move up to three eighths and then I'm going to drill another hole half inch because I'm going to end up putting half inch bolts through. They're going to be stainless steel with uh, nylocks, nuts and stainless washers. So I'm putting a hole here. I'm gonna make it bigger. Let's see what it's doing. It's gonna stick right through the center here and then a bolt is gonna go through it for my spare tire. I just have to make it a little bigger and then I'm gonna have a three inch spacer around spacer, weld it all the way around here. The bolt will go through here through the spacer and stick out and it'll hit the tire and then that's what's gonna hold all this on. All right, see that? Now I, I can weld it because I got all the mill scale off.
All right, so tomorrow I'm gonna have this welded on. This, this bolt actually comes through from underneath and then there's a nut over it. I'm gonna have the nut welded on to here. Then this is gonna go over like that and that's gonna get welded onto the nut. Then over here, this bolt is gonna go right here, right there and get welded on. And then I cleaned all the mill scale off of this and that's gonna go right over there like that and get welded on. If I ever find an original rim like my others, it'll still be the same bolt pattern. Once I get that welded, I'm gonna etch all this really nice. So when I put only two, so I put two here, I thought it'd be better than one, but what I didn't realize as you tighten these, it just keeps like pulling the wheel in like this, watch. See that? See that? The reason that's happening is because I need a third one here to hold it this side down because it's just making the whole wheel go like this when I tighten it. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna put a bolt back there where I painted it. I'm gonna grind all that off and get it a bolt in here. And then I'm gonna take it over to my, my welder and I'm gonna put a bolt in there and have him weld it on. All right, well, being that the scamp frame is hollow and we're gonna put our half inch bolts through here, nuts and bolts, and tighten it, I don't want this to try to squeeze in a little bit. So I went ahead and I made these spacers. So this spacer is gonna fit just like that, see that? So now when I put my bolts through, this can't squeeze and just, you know, get squashed. It'll actually uh, stop. So I'm doing it on both sides. Hey, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? So I'm almost finished with this project right here. Let me show you, this bumper is actually gonna bolt on something like this. This tire is held on in three places, all welded, and it's not even attached or touching the back here. Let me show you. So there's lots of space, no bolts coming out of the body anymore, holding the wheel on. And I bolted it on and I used really good Nylox stainless steel fasteners. I did not want to weld this on because if I ever need to take this off, then I want to be able to take it off. And I would say if you have an older scamp trailer and you want to do this, it wasn't hard. I would say I have maybe $50 at the most in materials. And then a buddy of mine uh, who works for Good Guys Car Show, he came down and did some welding for me. So we put this together months ago, but it was just sitting in my shop because I still had to do a lot of painting and stuff. So I'm really happy that I was able to, to attach this. So there's that. Like I said, the bumper's going to go on there. It's going to go right to the corner to protect the corners. I got to take this wheel off though. And I need to cut these. See how they're, some of them are too long. This one's really long. This one's short. Just, I'm going to cut some off this one, cut some off this one. Then I'm going to file them really nice. And then I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to put our spare tire cover back on. Then I got to do some work to this. I got to do some notching in this so that it actually fits over this little triangular piece. Well, I want to show you the bumper bolts. So this one right here, I got one right here, and I got one right here. Now, the top ones are going through this. I drilled a hole, and these are going through all the way, and this is quarter-inch steel. It's really thick. So this is really, this isn't going anywhere. 
Now, this one is not in anything at all. It's just filling a hole that was in the bumper. Same with this. This isn't doing anything at all. However, I think what I'm going to do, not now, I'm going to wait. I'm going to enjoy my scamp trailer. But um, after I go camping, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a bracket. Let me show you. And it's going to come from here. It's going to go like this and it's going to bend and it's just going to get welded onto this. And it'll just be one more extra support, but I'm not going to do it now. I got too much to do and I don't want to, you know, I want to keep moving forward with the project. So um, that is that. And then here is how I notched out the piece of steel. See that? I had to come out about an inch and go all the way down because this bumper has to fit around this and this and this, the quarter inch plate. Okay, that's holding everything strong. So once I cut that out with my uh, four and a half inch angle grinder with the disc blade, I just kind of filed it and smooth, deburred it, and now it's in. So this whole thing is done. All right, I know this looks funny and you're saying, why did he put tin foil all over his tire? Well, the reason I did that, because when I got my tire cover, at the RV place and uh, here it is right here it was uh, it wasn't much but it's a beautiful one and there's all these sizes you got to really really know what you're looking for so I have the 165 ADR I'm sorry I have the 175 ADR 13 so I had to get the 24 inch rim but if you read the box okay right here completely wrap the tire with aluminum foil or cellophane before you put the tire cover on and that's to keep the tire cover from getting black from the inside from your tire it's gonna keep it nice and white speaking of reading so you see this poor 15 top coat I used this on a lot of stuff it says right here direct to metal no need for primer or undercoat in other words you can put this right over the metal but then if you go to the back where it talks about if you want the best long lasting results, they're telling you to not put this over metal, but to put it directly over pore 15, which we did. So you just got to read because you'd be surprised little, little things like this that you didn't even know about. So we're going to go ahead and throw the cover on right now and see how it looks. All right. I got the spare tire cover on and it looks great. I decided to go with white because it reflects the heat and I just like the clean look of the white. So this one fits really nice. Um, okay, there it is. So this project's pretty much done. And like I said, it wasn't that hard. If anybody wants to upgrade their scamp and do something like this, um, it really wasn't that hard. And it's definitely worth it because I don't want to crunch my corners off anymore. Uh, if I ever get hit by somebody or we back into something, I'd rather hit this than the trailer. So, all right, well, that's that. All right, well, here is a list of everything that I used. I marked the main components A, B, C, D, and I made like a, what types of metals and stuff that I used. And then all my fasteners I got, the bumper bolts, I found those at Pet Boys. Unfortunately, Pet Boys is closing throughout the nation. So they were having one heck of a sale. I think I got all my bolts for a dollar. And that's the, the bumper that I used. All the other stuff I found, I think, at Home Depot. And anyways, if this helps anybody, that's great. All right. Hey, thanks for joining this episode. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, let me know because I want to, this whole channel is just about helping people get inspired. And uh, well, I got a lot to do, but you know what? I'm happy because I finally caught the eyeball that ate my brain. So now I can continue on my scamp trailer. So talk to you soon.